All right, so today we got this uh, S300 Bobcat and it started just, when you would start it up, it would just drive and it's a joystick, the joystick model. And um, the joystick was just dead. So it was just stuck in reverse, just doing donuts in reverse and the joystick wouldn't work. And so what we found out it was, was the hydraulic pump drive solenoid which is this little guy right here. Um, it has this little, I don't know, uh, can you see that? That little uh, arm that sticks up there um, that a pin pops up into, so it's kind of hard to get on. You have to, you have to get under there and line it up just perfect and then set it down on and then slide it in place. Um, but I'll show you where it is here because I could not find any information on this. So you lift the cab and you can see that rusty one back there. So that's them. There's one for each side. So whatever side's not working, it's probably that side. They have an electric plug in the back. They have like six T130 bolts on top. So you just pull the bolts off, um, um, pop it off of there and pull your new one on. Like it says, it's kind of hard to get the new one on because you have to line that pin up and then it, you'll see it. It actually swings. It has a little arm that the pin slides on and it swings the arm forward and it has two little forks that slide over a, a plunger. And so when you pull it off, the plunger flops back. And so the forks are there and they'll jam like that if you don't get them lined up. But if you get them lined up and then you push them forward, because the, the plunger actually rolls. And so if you roll it, it's round and the, and the fork won't slip on. So you have to make sure that the plunger is rolled in the right spot. The fork slips over it. And then when you put your hat on or the solenoid, you can put it on with a slid forward and then you slide it back and it pops up that fork in place and then you're good to go. Um, simple as that. 